I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, to give me the spirit to do this video. Let's jump right to it. Psalms chapter 1, starting at verse 1. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law do he meditate day and night. Meditate day and night. Okay? That's a spirit we need to be in, man, and need to conquer that spirit and to be able to continually, consistently be in that spirit of day and night. All right? Now, you know you have your hiccups in the truth where you might not be as focused as other times. All right? And those are the moments where you do your fasting. If you have to, whatever you need to do spiritually to get that iron out, okay, to get back to being consistent of meditating day in and day out, okay? This truth is about adjustments, okay? And those adjustments get you ironed out to meditate day in and day out. Verse 3, And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. Bringeth forth his fruit in his season, meaning he's going to bloom, he's going to grow. Because when you meditate day and night, you're reading, okay? You're learning, you're growing, you're eating the roll like it told Ezekiel to teach the 12 tribes of Israel, man, okay? So when it says, it, so when it says that bringeth forth his fruit in his season, his leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Okay? He received the money, and he's pushing that money. Okay? But the only way to push that money, he has to eat that roll first to get that money, man. To get that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. All right? From there, let's go to Job 22, verse 22. Receive, I pray thee, the law from his mouth, and lay up his words in thine heart. Right? Lay up the words in your heart, in your mind, okay, to meditate day in and day out, man. We got to stay single, man. We got to stay sober and walk in the spirit at all times, man. Like I said, we know we have hiccups, but hey, man, you got to be able to adjust and to be able to cut and be ready and willing to cut whatever off that's offending you and it's true, that's making you not so single like you're supposed to be, man. Okay, we got to put forth all our power, all right? From there, let's go to Proverbs 16, verse 3. Commit thy works unto the Lord, and thy thoughts shall be established. And thy thoughts shall be established. So once you meditate day in and day out, and you learn, you eat that roll, your thoughts are going to be established, man, to just keep moving forward and keep moving forward to adjust, to abound in truth, man. Okay? The Lord is going to put things your way to see what you do, to see how you react. Okay? To see if you're just going to completely forget about them because this happened or that happened, all right? Or you got a real fine woman you met, you know, and you're trying to concentrate on her. Whatever it is, okay, it says, commit that works unto the Lord and thy thoughts shall be established. The Lord is going to help you with that. He's going to assign an angel, your angel, okay, to you to keep you in the way, all right? From there, let's go to Psalms 19, verse 14. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. All right, so it has to be an acceptable meditation, man. Okay, you can't be in the world and then pretending you meditate like the world does. You can't be like a member of T.D. Jake's church. All right, you got to be in the mind state of being consistent and striving. It's about striving, man, and not giving up. Okay, not allowing your conscience to condemn you through your shortcomings. All right? Yahweh Shah's blood is there for the reason to cover our shortcomings, man. Because we ain't perfect, but Yahweh Shah is. So with that understanding, man, you got to just adjust, 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 and continue pushing and meditating about what's important. And what's important is Yahweh Shah and Shah and the will and doing the will. From there, let's go to Revelation chapter 1, verse 3. Blessed is he that readeth. And they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. Blessed is he that readeth. Okay? So when you occupied in prophecy, okay, then you're going to do what? You're going to be meditating 
day in and day out, thinking about what? Babylon being destroyed? Thinking about how beautiful the kingdom going to be? Okay, and it's going to be beyond what we think. All right? And meditating about those things. All right? Because that's our hope. Okay? Meditate about your house shot coming down with the chariots. Okay? You're going to be seeing these things. You're going to be picturing those things in your head, man. And, and rejoicing and smiling. Okay? And getting comforted by understanding that, hey, this world is going down and our world is going up, man. All right? The house of David is being established. From there, let's go to Proverbs chapter 8, verse 34 to 35. Blessed is the man that heareth me, watching daily at my gates, waiting at the posts of my doors, watching daily, meditating day in and day out. That's watching daily, okay? Watching the prophecies, what's going on around the world, man? Okay, watching the real news, getting real thorough news, okay, on the wars and rumors of wars. Okay, watching daily at his gates. All right, Yahweh Bashim and Shai. Okay, because Yahweh Shai is the door. He's the mediator. He's the door in between us and the Father to get to the kingdom. Okay, that's the door. All right, verse 35. For whoso findeth me findeth life and shall obtain favor of the Lord. Right. So once you find Yahweh Bashim and Shai, you have to be able to stay up in there, man. Okay. You had hard times in this truth, man. If you've been in the truth for years, you'd have had some hard times where there were moments where it didn't look too good, man. Where the most high could have just done away with you, really. Okay? Because this flesh is horrible, man. And we make our mistakes. And we just hope like crazy that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh's mercy is on us, man, to forgive us for our mistakes, okay, that we make. All right? From there, let's go to Psalm 63, verse 6. When I remember thee upon my bed and meditate on thee in the night watches. Right. Meditate in the night watches, man. Meditate on what? On this word. Okay. And when you are meditating day in and day out, man, you consistent. Okay. And you're really on fire, man. Your sleep is a lot better, man. You rest a lot better. Matter of fact, let me get that scripture. Proverbs chapter 3, starting at verse 21. My son, let not them depart from thy eyes. Keep sound wisdom and discretion. So shall they be life unto thy soul and grace to thy neck. Then shall thou walk in thy way safely, and thy foot shall not stumble. When thou liest down, thou shalt not be afraid. Yeah, thou shalt lie down, and thy sleep shall be sweet. Okay? Shall be sweet. All right, let's go back to our read in Psalm 63, verse 6. When I remember thee upon my bed and meditate on thee in the night watches. Right, you're meditating. You lay down and you're meditating. You meditate throughout the day. And when you finally go to sleep, let's go back to Proverbs 3, verse 24. When thou liest down, thou shalt not be afraid. Yeah, thou shalt lie down and thy sleep shall be sweet. So it's nothing better than some good sleep, man, especially when you're confident, man. The only reason your sleep is going to be sweet if you're confident and your conscience is not condemning yourself and you're doing what you're supposed to do. You're doing the work. That makes your sleep sweet, okay? And if you meditate day in and day out and you're on fire, man, okay, you're fully comforted, man. The only reason why you don't feel comforted, if you're not feeling comforted, is because you ain't doing your best and you ain't doing what you're supposed to do, man. All right? Period. You have to examine yourself and realize that and check that at the door and adjust. All right? Psalms 119. Let's go to Psalms 119, starting at verse 15. I will meditate in thy precepts and have respect unto thy ways. I will delight myself in thy statues. I will not forget thy word. We got to stay in that mind frame all the day long, man. All the day long. That's our best bet, man. Okay. I'm going to say it again. Yeah, we have hiccups, man, where it's like, ugh, that was stupid. Or, ugh, man, I've been distracted. I've been doing too much of this. I've been doing too much of that. Okay. We live in Babylon, all right? It's just what it is, you know? So we got to fight. That's why we need mercy, man. We need more mercy and more mercy. We need all the mercy we can get to get on the chariots, man, and be saved. From there, let's go to Joshua chapter 1, verse 8. 
This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then shalt thou make thy way prosperous, and then shalt thou have good success. Right. Throughout all the scriptures to talk about meditating therein day and night, man. Because when you skip days and you have these days where you're not really doing nothing spiritually with your mind and meditating, man, those days you don't really feel that comfort because you start to realize, man, I'm tripping. I need to get back to reading, you know. I ain't read all day or I ain't read in two days or whatever it may be. Or I ain't did a lesson, you know. I got distracted. I was doing something else, you know. You got to think about those details because when it talks about Satan Going up and down the earth, man, he's trying to distract you so you're not meditating day in and day out. That's what Satan is doing, man. Matter of fact, I'm going to do a separate lesson on that, Lord willing. But with that, man, I hope all you Akum edified all across the world, man, and sincere sisters. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, to give me the spirit to do this video. Double honors to the elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom, tell you Akum out there that's doing the wilderness in the city. Shalom.